Hi, I'm Peter Kelmstrom of Kelmstrom.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I will talk you through a solution that I have built for recurring tasks. This is something that I've done before in uh, SharePoint and in Dataverse. And I think it's a good example of, of what needs to be done in most organizations. Most organizations have recurring tasks that needs to be handled. And here I'm de demonstrating different techniques of doing it. And here I'll be doing it in Excel and I'll be using the new Excel script or well, rather new anyhow. Uh, as you see, I have a bunch of templates here. I've defined a table and uh, so here I've given it a name and here I have another table given that a name. So when I click on this button here, I run a script, which I'll go through in some detail, which takes the tasks that have the next date set for today. So these two tasks here should be copied into the tasks table and also the next date, the next day that it will be, it should be done, should be pushed three days into the future for the buy fruit and 20 days into the future for the compile reports. So that's what the script is doing. So let me show you how that works. So just click the button here and it takes a second and it's preparing to run and then it runs and then it's done. There you have the new, the two new tasks and they're both set to be done today and the templates have been changed so that these are now changed. The next time it's time to buy fruit is the second and the next time it's time to compile the report is the 19th of July. So that makes sense since I'm recording this on the 29th of June 2024. So let's look at the script, what it's actually doing. So add tasks, I'm going to edit that and I made this a bit uh, larger so it should be easier to read. First of all, let's jump through the different parts here of the script. First, of course, we have the main. That's always available in an Excel script and it sends in the current workbook. When I get that main called, then I create an instance of the templates class and set that in the variable all templates. Then I'm reading from the table and then that gives me all the templates. Then I'm looping through all the templates items and checking if the next date is today. In that case, I'm adding them as tasks and I'm sending the workbook parameter to that method also. Let's look at some details. Here. So let's start with the template class. It's basically reading the information from this table in Excel, putting it into memory. So it has some properties, the title, the intervals, and the next date, which is in ISO string. And it also has a reference to the row. And I have a method to read from the row. And that's just getting the cell from this range, getting the text, getting the text and converting it to an integer and getting the text of the next date like that. And then I'm also putting that row variable here into the property. Checking if it's today. So I'm just checking the today's ISO date by getting creating a new date, getting the ISO string and putting the first 10 characters out of that. And then checking if today ISO equals next date ISO. So that returns a boolean, that method. And then I have the, the final method here, method here is add as task, which gets the task table, add, adds a row. And as you see, the null parameter here of the add row method adds last. And then I'm sending in an array of the values. So the title, the date, the and blank. I'm leaving the, the status blank. Then I'm also figuring out when the next date is. So I'm adding the interval to the current date. And then I'm setting that value to the templates row, as I did here. The templates class has an items collection, which is the templates. And it also has this method get from table, which gets the templates table getting the range between header and, and total. So that's these rows here, getting the row count, setting a counter variable there. And I'm just getting, uh, declaring the cur row. And here I'm looping the number of rows, getting the current row, getting the templates from that row. And then I'm pushing it into the items collection. 
And that's it. That's the script. So I uh, will supply this in a text format so you can copy and paste and you can also download the Excel file so you can try it out for yourself. But um, I hope this was instructional and maybe useful for you also. Thank you for watching this demonstration.